Welcome to Yangmingsheng National Park. We are so excited to be here on this beautiful day. It is a little bit rainy, but we have so much to see today. We are gonna see a volcano, maybe some cow lilies, and some water buffalo, maybe? I'm so excited, although it is pretty cold today, but it kind of feels like we're in a cloud right now. We took a bus to get here and the roads were really windy, pretty narrow, and a little bit scary. It honestly kind of reminded me of the Transfogartian Highway in Romania. It's like so many hairpin turns. I felt a little bit queasy the entire time. And I'm glad we didn't walk up this hill hike to the <laughs> volcano because it was, uh, yeah, there was nowhere to walk and it was just really uphill. We did get some cool views of the volcano though, and also, you can see our breath. And now we're right here at the volcano, so let's go check it out. I am so unprepared for how actually cold it is. It's crazy because when we were in Taipei, it was actually pretty hot like our last day. Like we were like sweating a lot, wearing shorts and t-shirts. I mean, we are pretty high in the mountains, but holy moly, it's cold up here. Maybe with all the steam coming off the volcano, maybe it'll warm us I'm gonna up. gonna jump into the volcano. <laughs> There is a huge hike that you can go all the way to the top of this peak to get a better view of the surrounding area, but I don't think today's the perfect day for that because of how cloudy it is. But it is still really cool that we get to be right here. Oh man, oh, do you smell that? Oh, so Jenny. strong. Also, we are like, I don't know if it's like we're in a cloud or the volcano mist, but it is like mist completely around us. I think the smelly mist. Ooh, <laughs> I'm kind of used to it by that now. That sulfur. Oh. <laughs> This is insanely cool. What? I can't believe that we're this close to this. And it's only like a few steps from the parking lot. Like we can just go, like we could actually just go touch that little blowhole right there if we wanted to. I am amazed at Taiwan, just in general, but especially this spot right here. And we have a view of the cow lilies from up here. Wait, that's exciting, I didn't even know that. towards us <laughs> this is so wild I don't know if it's the clouds I think it's the clouds the cloud is completely covering the volcano now we can't even see it at all it's just smoke or cloud whoa I almost feel like we like cheated like this is so cool we like barely had to work that hard to get here it just doesn't feel right it's like three minutes from the parking lot yeah, like I feel like I need to like hike a ton or like do a really hard thing to get this view, but it was actually really easy. We just took the bus up here. Okay, so I read online that the last time this volcano erupted was 300,000 years ago, so there's not a very high chance it'll erupt while we're here. I guess it's still kind of likely because there's a giant like sign saying that the high temperature fumes of the sulfur, it like creates rock falls, and so you should not go past this fence because <laughs> bad things could happen to you. Oh, it's blowing right in my face. Anyways, if you stand here long enough, the clouds will part eventually and all the sulfur mist will go away and then you can actually see like the rocks and stuff, but then it'll cover it up again and then uncover it. So it's really just a waiting game at this point. We're gonna do a little hike to the top of this mountain here. This is the first time we can see the tops of the mountains a little bit. This is really cool. I'm enjoying it because these are kind of like a wind barrier, so it's not as cold in here. Wait till you see the view, turn. Turn that way? This way. Whoa. Wow, you can see it, you can see it way better from here. You're just like taller, makes sense. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. It's really windy. It's really windy. But yeah, the view up here is way better because you're not like in all of the sulfur. You can like actually see it. So right over here is the famous mountain Xiaoyukong and then up here somewhere is the tallest peak in Taipei. Oh my goodness, walking at this like five minutes to that little viewpoint was absolutely the best thing we could have done. Those views up there were insanely beautiful. We were just like, eh, whatever, we'll just hike up just like because we have time to waste before the bus gets here and oh my gosh, 1000% worth it if you are here definitely hike up to this little point.
It's nice to check off the volcano on our list of things to see today in the National Park. Now we're going to catch a bus to go to the water buffaloes. There's just wild water buffaloes just running around in this National Park. So that is the little path that we took all the way up there. And see how sheer that drop is right there? But honestly, you could not tell at all when we were in it. We got on another bus to Ching Ting Gang Visitor Center and we are now going to hopefully find some water buffaloes on this hike. We have to go to the grassland or it's like a circular trail and then maybe they'll just be in the middle of it somewhere. Of course there's no guarantee because it is wildlife but there are signs at this visitor center saying don't feed the animals and also there's a bunch of pictures of the buffalo so I feel like there's a somewhat decent chance they're here. This national park is honestly so convenient. There's little buses running between all of the popular stops and we had the same cafe at our last spot so you can even grab some food or coffee while you're here. Like this is just so well put together and I'm super impressed. But now let's go find some water buffalo. Woo. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, I don't think this is it, right? Hopefully not. Well, I think we have to walk for a while. 0.1 kilometers, that's like two steps. Well, no, but like, gotta keep. Keep going. Going that way. Water buffalo, where are you? Oh my gosh, I already see some. What? We just started. This is so cool. The National Park making it easy on us. until a few days ago that Taiwan had water buffalo. Okay, I honestly was not as excited as Jacob was for her to see these, but now that we're seeing them, this is so cool. Like, there's little babies and the little baby's so cute, but also this big daddy one over here is huge. What, is it coming towards me? You made a face. <laughs> well, I don't know. Jeez, that thing could do some damage. I think this is the stop that I was looking forward to the most while we were planning out this day. But I had no idea that it would be this easy to see the water buffalo. And like, I don't know why they're just right at the entrance, but it just works out so nice for us. It is so cool to hear them munching on the grass. Like for some reason it is so loud. There is six water buffalo right here. It looks like there's like four babies or like kids and then there's the two really big ones. But this one is the only one that has like a tracker collar on it, I think. And none of the other ones do. So I don't know why they're just tracking this one or what they're doing with it, but she's not a free girl. <laughs> I am happy that there's this like fence here because we originally thought that there wasn't gonna be a fence and I was a little bit scared, but it's nice that there's a fence. I know it's really annoying when we say things like repeatedly, so I've been trying not to say it, but holy moly, I'm so cold. It just keeps dropping and dropping. Now it's like 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and I know that that's not that cold considering we've been to Finland and like Norway in the winter for like three straight years in a row, but I'm only wearing leggings and a tiny little jacket, so it's not that warm. There's an entire trail that we can go on here and the mountains look really, really beautiful. And we were gonna do it, but now that we've already seen the buffalo, maybe it's time to head back to the bus and go to a different stop now. The cow lilies. I really, really, really wanna see the cow lilies. Although these first two stops have been insanely beautiful and absolutely amazing. Honestly blew all of my expectations out of the water. There's a waterfall. There is gate, grassland, there's a lot here. Well, I've never been pooped on by a bird, but I did just get pooped on by a bee. I cannot believe that happened. It landed on me and I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? So I just stood still and then Jacob was like, it literally just pooped on you. It might be pollen, but also could be poop. It's bright yellow. Okay, so this is probably, if you were to do all three of the activities we're doing today, you'd probably start here, <laughs> but we are, this is our third stop because we couldn't figure out the bus situation until now. 
but we are here at the calla lilies yep. potentially at bamboo lake we think <laughs> we, we were trying to get to juju which is a stop that was like four stops back that way on the bus but the bus driver was like no don't get off here get off here so Hopefully this is where all the cool flowers are. <laughs> and there was this really nice man helping us. He was so cute. He like gave us his little pamphlet and him and Jacob were like pointing to each other's pictures of like the Great Wall of China and stuff. <laughs> it was really cute and he helped us find the bus. So yeah, I mean, it was the right bus, hopefully right location, still to be determined. <laughs> but we see some flowers over there, so let's check it out. Well, that sign makes it seem like we're going to the right area walking down this hill <laughs> don't know um i wasn't expecting to go to this area but maybe it'll work out i think this means we might have to pay but I'm just gonna walk and i mean we can't pay out here I'm just gonna keep walking so we made it to this garden and it's cool, but it is completely the wrong area. Well, it's not the right location, but <laughs> there is some right outside this little restaurant. I think this is a restaurant here and they're super pretty. I mean, there's not a whole field of them, but I still really like that we got to see at least a little bit of them. Not sure if we're gonna actually try to go back. I don't know what's going on, but I'm happy at least there's some. I was just thinking like, how have we not like found the right place like this whole bridge has like the flowers like all over it there's a huge sign that says like festival going on right now Jenny just said that she did see them I have yet to see these flowers but <laughs> maybe soon we'll show you I haven't translated this sign yet but maybe it was telling us to go this way all along so this is the bus stop we got dropped off at and arrow 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 all the way down there so we just missed that tiny little detail the sun is shining just a little bit and it feels so good i still am not sure if this is actually where we were trying to go but there's Lily field so we're happy about it there's this stream running down apparently for a while and there's Lily fields like this all around it and so i guess this is just one of the spots i'm guessing the soil is like really good to grow them by the stream Probably because of the volcanic activity. I'm not quite sure though. Feel free to tell me in the comments if you know. But yeah, this is so cool, so pretty. I'm so happy we finally made it here after all that. Wow, there's also these really beautiful roses here. So gorgeous. Now being right up on them, this is what I've been waiting for. You do have to pay if you want to go any further, but I'm happy with just these ones right here. If you are trying to get around by bus in this national park, I think Google Maps is your best friend. It's gonna tell you like what times all the buses are going. That's the only way we've been able to get around how we've been. And we've, it's only cost like five or six dollars all day. Okay, so upon further evaluation, I'm looking at the cattle lilies and they're like soaking in water. So that's probably why they're along the stream. So that makes a lot more sense now. And they're so pretty. I'm so happy we made it here. I was trying to be like, it's fine if we don't make it, whatever, but I would have been sad. See those flamingos in the back? Stop. Look. Okay, it's just, it's not. Oh. <laughs> it's just like a giant. What are they? Sculpture of Sculpture, album? yeah. Well, there's also tons of cherry trees around here. I feel like we haven't been talking about them because we talked about them a lot in the last video, but there's tons of cherry trees everywhere. Yeah, this place is so cool. I can't believe we finally found those darn flowers. <laughs> we made it. So thank you so much for watching this video of us in the National Park. We've just been having such an amazing time in Taipei, and we can't wait to share more videos.